Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy the Lazy Pastry Chef and today we're making an almond biscotti. Please stay tuned. If it's your first time stopping by, I just want to thank you for taking the time out from listening to Tevin Campbell CD to check out my channel. And while you're here, please feel free to subscribe and smash that notification bell. That way you can be part of this amazing family and we can grow together. All right, let's get into it. Start off by combining some AP and almond flour with some baking powder in a mixing bowl. I then lightly toasted and chopped up some silver almonds. I also used vanilla and almond extract which I combined with the eggs and the zest of one lemon and one orange. To get started I creamed some softened butter with some sugar and some salt and while that was going I started zesting the orange and the lemon into the eggs. Keep whipping the butter and the sugar until it turns nice and fluffy, but you want to make sure you scrape the sides of the bowl, that way everything is nicely incorporated. Once the butter is nice and fluffy, add the eggs and mix on speed 1 for 2 minutes. When you add the eggs, you'll notice that it will break the butter, but don't panic. This happens all the time. What you want to do is you want to keep mixing this until it's nicely incorporated. And once that happens, you'll notice that the butter will start to turn fluffy again. Once the butter turns fluffy, gradually add the AP and almond flour mixture that we made earlier to make the biscotti dough. I then added the nuts, shaped the dough, and let it sit at room temperature for an hour. The reason I let it sit for a room temperature for one hour is you want to let the gluten activate. That way you do not need to add any excess flour to work the dough. As you can see I'm using my bare hands to make a log shape which is what I'm going for as you can see nice and easy. Then to smooth out the top surface I use a rolling pin and kind of roll over and chop off the excess dough and you will notice that I'm not even going to add any flour to the rolling pin, <laughs> rolling pin, the rolling pin either. All right, so free tip for y'all. You don't have to trim off the excess dough if you don't want to, but I feel like it makes for amazing scraps. So I like, to, you know, scrape it aside. And what I do is I bake it and eat it. You know, for myself, you know, a little treat for all this hard work that I'd be doing. Anyway, so basically I cut it into a nice, you know, rectangular shape and I bake it in a preheated oven at 325 for 30 minutes. The finished product will be a light brown cookie. I love it at this stage, but unfortunately, traditionally, you have to cut it and double bake it because it's supposed to be like a tough cookie. You dip it in your espresso or your cappuccino. Traditionally, it's, it's how Italians enjoy it anyways. So basically what I'm doing right now is I cut it to maybe like uh, probably still like half an inch of the thickness. Then I baked it in an oven at 350 for 15 minutes. Then what, right, what I'm doing right now is I'm dipping in some chocolate, you know, garnishing it with some nuts. This step you do not have to do. A lot of people prefer to have it plain and I know I'm probably going to get a lot of people in the comment section talking about you should just leave it plain. So feel free to do it however way you want to. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time out to check out my channel. As usual, it's your boy, the Lazy Pastry Chef. Peace and love, everybody. 